love that chord. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Lesson 11. Now, lesson 10 was tricky, right? It was. I hope you've got on all right with it. Let me know in the comments for it. If you missed it, uh, the links are below. You can go and check out that and all the previous lessons. Uh, there's tab. You can download the tab. I always forget to say this, but you can download the tab from the link that is below as well from my website. If you can, that'd be great because then you'll be able to follow along and do all the lessons. So without further ado, let's move to lesson 11. Now we're changing things up a bit here. Up till now, our bass line has been pretty static and it's just been one note, the open E. We're staying in the key of E, but we're now going to move to a kind of moving bass line. It's almost like a boogie woogie style bass line. All right. So if you look at the tab example up above, you'll see that the lowest line there goes like this. So I'm just ignoring those two open strings on the top there for now. The way that I do this and the way I encourage you to start, put your first finger on your left hand or your right hand if you're left handed. Your first finger that your your first finger on your fretting hand. There we go. Over the second fret of the A string and the D string. So basically it's there ready to play this kind of E5 power chord without having anything else to do. Because then if your first finger is covering the second fret there, then you can use either your third finger or your fourth finger, I don't mind, up to you, to hit the fourth fret when we need that on the, a, on the E string and the A string. And when we go up to the fifth fret, you can use that finger too. So just doing that again without the stabs one more time so you can see how it goes. It's like this. So you can see that I was using my little finger there. And that's the kind of the run. I probably won't do it that fast. Now let's look at adding in those stabs. Keep this a nice short lesson. Fingers one and two on your picking hand or, you know, if you're hybrid picking, use other fingers. And then all you do is you punctuate each bass note with a, a little stab on the top two open strings like this. Now I was palm muting the bass, li bass lines there, which you can do or not. And on the upstroke of each time, just, just hitting with those two fingers. You can do it with a pick if you want. So there, all I was doing, I was, I was using a thumb pick, but if I was using a flat pick, I'd do it the same way. Downstroke and then upstroke for the top two strings. I like to do it, you know, with the thumb pick on my fingers. And it gives you a nice kind of moving bass line. You can punctuate it with those open strings. It makes it a nice kind of easy way to, to make things funky. So practice it a little at a time, as with all these things. I would suggest getting comfortable with doing the bass line first and then add in the stabs. So get comfortable with that moving. And then start adding in the, the stabs. And let me know how you get on. It's a fun one um, and it's the kind of thing that we can we can uh, start looking at how to move that on to some more advanced picking, you know, Jerry Reed style picking stuff maybe in future lessons. But for now, this is blues, get better at blues rhythm guitar. Lesson 11, signing off.